In this video, we're going to look at how to download a VRS base point and post process a post processed kinematic or a PPK data set. Here I'm running Trimble Business Center version 3.21 and I'm going to start off by making a new project or opening an existing one. I'm going to begin a new project as I'm post-processing GNSS data in the United Kingdom. I'm going to use the coordinate system I've set up to use the OSTM02 transformation. Next step is to import the field survey data, which involves browsing to the folder where the files are located. In this case, I have them on my desktop. And finding the job file or the raw data file that contains the data to be processed. So I've got the job file and I also have the T02 file containing the raw observations on my desktop in the same location as that job file that's come from the Trimble Access Field Controller. Here I'm going to keep my existing project coordinate system definition and press OK to continue the data import. So the raw data check-in appears, the PPK data. You typically see these roving segments in between the measured points can see the name of the file containing the, the raw data. In this case, it's a T02 file, but it's possible that file could also have a .dat or a .t01 extension, depending on the kit that was used to measure the data. You can start and end times of the survey points and the duration. I'm checking that the send to RTX PP boxes aren't ticked. Next I can check my antenna heights. So measure position, bottom of quick release, height 1.8 which is corresponding to an R10 internal antenna type which is all correct if I check all the points. Yep. That's all good. So I'll press OK to continue the import. Now it's hit duplicate point names that exist in the job file. Now this dialog may not appear. It just depends how your merge tolerances are set in your project settings. I have mine set so that they're uh, very small so it will prompt to merge everything with the same point name which in this case is what we want to do. So I'll press check all and continue with the import. Okay, and there is the PPK survey points ready to be post-processed. Now I've configured an automatic internet download within Trimble Business Center so that I can access the VRS data server and download a virtual base point that will fit nicely within that survey area. So I need to go to the survey ribbon, select internet download, locate my option in the list to download a VRS base point, which I have here. At the bottom of the dialog, you have two buttons, automatic and manual to perform the automatic download, press automatic. TBC will, by default, aim to pick a location for the virtual base position that will be towards the project center. But you can override this and input your own coordinate or pick another point in the project. 
that you do used to like like to use as the the base location. I'm going to go with the default of project center and look at the lower part of the panel. So this was a fairly short survey. The time span is shown here and I can set my sampling interval to match that of the field data. So I'm going to go for a one second interval in the data that's going to be downloaded from the, the VRS server. So that all looks good. I press OK and it will then access the VRS server. Which we can see by the lower part of the dialog here. Instructions have been sent to the server to process the data required. That's going to take a little while for the server to process it. Once the data has been processed and it's ready to download, then this dialog here will prompt you to continue with the import stage. So I've skipped ahead in the video a little bit whilst the server was processing the order. Just took a couple of minutes. Uh, now the order has been processed, we get a notification that the process base point files are ready to import, as shown by the import button here. So I press import, we get a raw data check-in panel appear, the point has been allocated an ID of, in this case, V374 but you could change that point name to anything you like if you so wish. You can see the start and end time of the data in the, the file. I'm going to untick the send to RTX PP option. Check the antenna information. Everything is entered correctly. Looks OK. So I press OK to continue. There is our virtual base point. At this stage I can close the internet download dialog. Now before processing the baselines I need to change the quality of that imported base position from unknown as indicated by the circle next to the point name to control. So to do this, I'm going to use the Project Explorer on the left hand side of the screen. So I'm going to click on the triangle next to points to expand the point list. I just need to zoom in to the location where the base point is listed in the column. Here it is, V374 click on the triangle to expand the information for it and here I can see a red and white globe and where you see that globe that indicates a coordinate is present for that point. So I'm going to right click on it, select properties, zoom out and look at the properties table on the right hand side of the screen. To indicate that this point currently has unknown quality, it has question marks next to the lat long coordinates for it. By clicking on that button, I can select control quality for lat long and height. Once that is done, I can close the properties dialog and press the compute project button as indicated by the red ball just to update the project on screen and now you can see that we have a triangle symbol indicating that the the base point now has control quality on the plan view next step on the survey ribbon hit process baselines and each of the baselines will be processed to create a vector from the base position to each of the measured points where possible. So here we can see in the post-processing the horizontal 
precision of the computed vectors and the, the vertical precision. The RMS values and the length of the, the baselines. Just going to scroll down to see if there's any problems. This point here uh, fails a horizontal precision tolerance. It's also got uh, a large vertical precision um, value as well. So probably want to not keep that point. I don't see any other errors or issues at this stage, although the vertical precision on some of the points here isn't particularly isn't particularly great. So I'm going to save, and I now get blue vectors appear to indicate that those baselines have been processed and. The baseline that wasn't processed was 2.28, which retained its unprocessed baseline line color there. Okay, so that data set is now post processed and ready for use. Other views which you might want to use in addition to the plan view for inspecting the vectors or the points on the survey ribbon. You have a vector button which will open a spreadsheet providing you with more information about the process vectors, again including the horizontal and vertical position but also the number of satellites used and the epochs measured and you can also check your base and rover receiver heights or antenna heights in that table. On the home ribbon, you can access the point spreadsheet, which will give you a tabular spreadsheet view of the points, the post-processed coordinates that have been created within the project. A little tip, if you want to copy that data to a spreadsheet program such as Excel. Just drag the left mouse button in the left column in this view, in this table, right click, select copy, and then it's possible to paste directly into Excel. And that ends this video.